go. So closing your eyes. And just setting your intention. Filling the belly, chest, ribs, and exhale, let it go. 100% inhalation, maximum inhalation, and exhale, just let it go, no force. Keep going, finding your own rhythm and pace. Fully in. Visualizing on the inhalation, flooding every cell of your body with fresh oxygen, amplifying our pranic field. And on the exhale, it's an opportunity to just let go and release that which no longer serves you. Releasing from your system any clenching or contraction, any fear, any resentment, any residual stress, let it go on the exhale. Inhaling belly, chest, head, let it go. Keep going, finding your own rhythm. Belly, chest, head, letting go. Belly, chest, head, letting go. Even deeper, letting go, filling up and letting go. Keep going, each inhale. Expanding further to take in a little bit more air. And each exhale, you just relax like you're melting down into the earth, releasing stress from the body. Like a wave, the breath is just washing over you, no force. And our 
our last breaths fully in all the way. And exhale, exhale, exhale. At the bottom of the exhale, pause and stillness. Feeling your heartbeat. Feeling your blood circulate through your body. Trying not to fidget here, just resting in absolute stillness. And when you feel that strong urge for breath, you'll take a deep breath fully in, hold at the top for 15 to 20 seconds.
welcoming any sensations that are arising, tingling, any emotion, all is welcome. Releasing stress, releasing trauma from our bodies, healing ourselves with the breath. We have the power to alter our consciousness, alter our physiology. Here we go, filling up belly, chest, head, letting go, belly, chest. Letting go, two, letting 
top 15 to 20 seconds. Squeeze. Draw the energy up the spine.
welcome just to relax in Shavasana. If you like, I'll guide us through a round of EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. And this is just clearing out any stuck energy or emotions, just to kind of cleanse our field. <laughs> so, um, right under the collarbone, you'll feel on yourself like it's a sore spot, it's tender, you'll feel it. So just kind of making circles there. Just breathing deep. Fully in and exhale. Just releasing a sound, vocalizing. This stimulates your vagus nerve anytime you Releasing. Nice. And then we'll begin tapping the crown of the head. Just tapping. Breathing deep. And actually, whatever emotion you're feeling as you tap you can bring it up to a head, bring it up to the surface. So if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling worry, fear, upset, anxious, out of control, whatever emotion is arising, really let it, we're so conditioned to suppress everything, but now we're clearing it, so let it come up to the surface. And tapping the inside of the eyebrow. <sighs> the side of the eye. You can say to yourself, even though I'm feeling, you just say whatever it is you're feeling. You can say it to yourself out loud or in your head, just acknowledging whatever's present for you. Even though I'm feeling insecure, even though I'm feeling uh, worried about the future, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Tapping right underneath the eyes on that cheekbone. major meridian lines, acupressure points, and the chin, breathing deep, inhale, you bring it up to the surface, whatever no longer serves you, whatever's weighing heavy on you, any resentments, and exhaling, ah, let it go, tapping the collarbone, Even though I'm feeling whatever it is that you're feeling, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. What is it that you're needing to hear right now? The front of the ribs. What is it that you're needing in your life?
off of the pinky finger, tapping. And the karate chop pointing. So this is something that people just swear by. It can be miraculous for clearing um, extreme phobias or any PTSD from your system. And you might need to do a much more in-depth session to really get the clearing. Like here, we're just going through it for a general sweep. But this might be something that you need to you know, do a deeper session where you go through many rounds for an hour to really feel like you've cleared and transformed whatever it is you're working with. And then just brushing your hands together. And we'll do one last, just sweeping through your system, releasing that which no longer serves you. Oh. And any part of your body that is really needing some healing, you can bring some extra energy there. Just lovingly placing your hands on any part of your body that's needing some healing. dropping your awareness down into your feet, into your pelvis, the Muladhara Chakra. Breath work can create a lot of ascension and expansion of your energy field, so before we close, just really dropping in and grounding your energy. that seed syllable from the center of your being just emanating out, rippling out, amplifying your field of energy and sending out blessings and prayers out into the universe and just clearing your mind space. That's what's so amazing about music is it interrupts our incessant thought stream, it's particularly, you know, chanting, um, so we'll close together. So just taking a deep breath. And we'll inhale to own.
I have a personal practice with breath work or with Wim Hof before I get into a little bit of a cold shower. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying it. Um, but it is so powerful to be guided and especially to be guided by you in my experience um, for us to, to do this together, to, to feel everybody else breathing and, and also to um, the difference that I really appreciate is you weren't yelling out how long we were doing the holds for um, and so that really I, I feel encourages deeper connection with mm -hmm. self rather than beat a time or hold yeah. for a certain amount of time, because I know that's kind of a thing in the Wim Hof yeah. community also. Um, and I remember asking you, and so I'm curious maybe if you have any you know, tips for identifying when, when you may be able to go a little bit further with holding the breath. That first wave of, oh, Okay, it's yeah. time. Is there are there any strategies that you use? To yeah, so I was doing um, apnea training, like free diving training, and there they really because this is more a Zen way of no force and flow, but there they were really pushing and. He was like, pretend there's a sheet of ice, and like you have to swim there and back, and you can't come back, come up until you're here. And so like I was like dying, and I would come up early, and he'd be like, you could have gone longer. Your lips aren't even purple yet. <laughs> um, so so yeah, we it is the mind interfering. We can go a lot further than we think we can in so many realms. Like also another torture thing in Wim Hof is, you know, to be down in horse stance for really long periods of time, like they'll do it for hours, and that's all your mind, your mind is panicking, freaking out, like, I gotta get out, because your legs are burning, it's uncomfortable, but really, your body could go so much longer, like, there's a woman that she lost her short-term memory, so she became the best long distance runner because she couldn't remember how long she was running so she would just keep going or run through the whole desert this is our mind um so what i do is i notice once i'm hitting my like maximum point i will just try to push it a little bit i'll, I'll be like okay five more seconds and then i'll breathe or ten more seconds and then i'll breathe um, but yeah, there's so many, there's so many di different factors, like really being in a fasted state, I noticed that makes my retention a lot longer and how intensely I rev up, like how much I'm really like going for it and breathing deep, it just sets you up. Um, yeah, so every day it's kind of different. Um, I think at that point you're at the threshold of panic a little bit because like, oh, I'm going to pass out or it hurts. And so you have that tightness that kind of comes up. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that second I'm always about thinking about relaxing even more to get that last yeah. five seconds. Yeah. You know, that's, that's really hard, but something right at that age is when you get to practice it. Yeah. Yeah. And this is just a total, like, bigger theme of how to make peace or have some sort of mastery with the uncomfortable aspects of our, of our lives because so many things that like we know we're meant to show up and do it but there's so much resistance and fear and so this the Wim Hof method really helps with that like it helps people that are you know struggling with addiction because basically what addiction is it's a coping mechanism to get you out of feeling uncomfortable emotions. It's a you know way to just soothe yourself, to not have to feel and really confront the difficult emotions. And I'm trying to cultivate that space within myself to be able to like deal with difficulty and uncomfortable intense emotions because life is like forcing us into that.